Welcome back viewers and subscribers of APG News. My name is Mkholi Singumbe and I'm here to just give the latest uh, announcement from the Zimbabwean Consulate uh, about Zimbabweans or meant for Zimbabweans who are on the Zimbabwe exemption permit who have chosen to relocate back home at the or before the expiry uh, of their Zimbabwe exemption permit which expires in June this year on the 30th of June you know that the moratorium that was given to some to Zimbabwe exemption permit holders uh, ends so the notice is from the Zimbabwean embassy and it's dated 6 March which is Monday this week uh, I will go through the announcement as it is. This, the Embassy of the Republic of Zimbabwe in SA wishes to recall its announcement on 2 February 2023 that the government of Zimbabwe has taken a decision to assist and facilitate the repatriation of its, of its nationals who are holders of the Zimbabwe exemption permit who voluntarily wish to return home before the expiry of their permits on 30 June 2023. So you will remember that on the 2nd of February, the Zimbabwean ambassador to South Africa held in a, 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 a conference where he announced that the government was ready to assist its, nation, its nationals uh, who want to be assisted with, with the voluntary repatriation before the expiry of their permits. And they said uh, at the event that there will be two phases the first phase being the online registration and the second phase being the physical uh, call. So this is what they are making. In that regard, an in-person physical mapping exercise will be undertaken across all nine provinces of South Africa from 12 to 31 March 2023 to identify and register ZEP holders and their dependents who may require assistance or facilitation to return to Zimbabwe. Consular services to be provided during this uh, in-person or physical mapping exercise include birth certificate registration, passport applica application form processing, and temporary travel document TTD. ZEP holders who are unable to register in person are urged to utilize the online platform. So underneath this video, at, uh, on the description section, we're going to attach a link to the online application form, which you will then follow and fill in your details if you are one of those who wish to return to Zimbabwe and would like to be uh, assisted with the repatriation so you're going to follow that link and then fill in the form uh, then the contact details for the consulate which are only for whatsapp the embassy in pretoria is contactable on plus two seven six three seven one two six one five six plus two seven six three seven one two six one five six the consulate in Jopek plus two seven eight two eight two four nine four three five plus two seven eight two eight two four nine four three five and then the consulate in Cape Town plus two seven six double nine one one six seven one seven uh, and please note there is a disclaimer there that the consulate or any of its uh, that the embassy or any of its consulate uh, in Johannesburg and Cape Town do not work through agents. So if anybody comes to you and says they are an agent or claims they can facilitate your links or your communication with the consulate, just know that they are trying to scam you. You need to contact the embassy or the consulates via those numbers so that's what we had for you but note that this announcement is only for zimbabwe exemption permit holders who wish to be assisted with repatriation voluntary repatriation those who have given up on continuing to stay 
in South Africa, those who have given up on continuing to live and work in South Africa, who've got properties that need to be uh, uh, shipped to Zimbabwe and who are relocating to Zimbabwe and would need to be assisted with those. That's all we had. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it.